You know, my daughter was out there. And she was out there. And, uh, I had a woman from the Department of Archives look at her. She said she had no objection to anything that they had done. Uh, as you well know, this type of property that is on the National Register is documented as having been built in 1852. We feel like that it might have been built earlier than that, but at that okay. particular time, when there was someone documenting uh, older structures in Clark County. I think they just used the mid 1800s for nearly everything. I really feel like the house was built earlier than that, but I really have not had the time and I'm not an expert on this type of historical thing, and I've not really had anyone search the records completely. You get into when you when you get hearsay and things from from ancestors, as I'm sure you're all aware of, you get some conflicting uh, reports. But uh, in this, I made some copies document this story. But one of the ancestors of uh, William Bees was here from uh, Houston, Texas. Her name is Joanne Joanne Davis. And she tells me the story of Elizabeth Lee Trotter, the wife of William B., was here and heard that the Yankees were coming, and she prepared an elegant meal for them. And when they came, she invited them in, and they being young uh, men, uh, were delighted to have a sit-down dinner, probably the first they'd had in quite some time. And she told them, said, now, I expect you to behave yourself just like you would in your own home. For this reason, she fed them and she was kind to them. And so the woman in Texas tells me that's the story that's been passed down to her. They respected her and they left the house standing. Uh, that's an interesting story, whether it's true or, or fiction, it does make a good story. Uh, there, uh, as you well know, Alex, I understand, uh, died. Uh, on his way back from the Spanish-American War. And uh, he had uh, a number of children, and William B. raised those children. Now, this house was known as the townhouse for William B. Trotter. He was an attorney. Now, whether or not your ancestors were raised in this house, I can't document that. The records state that William B. was a uh, landowner and an attorney. We kind of think, but we've not had anyone put it together for us, that there was a plantation coming out in the county. That, and that may be where all the children were. I can't imagine. This house is not as big as it looks like it is. The original structure was uh, three rooms over three rooms. They're all 20 by 20. And then there was an outside summer kitchen. Uh, of course, I know that every child didn't have to have a bedroom back then, you know. But uh, there is quite a history we've discovered at the courthouse. Now, uh, William B. died in 1862, and his family was still quite young. His oldest son, who was Alex W. Trotter, Alex Washington Trotter, was 21 years old, and he was named the administrator of the estate. And he got the, the family into quite a mess, according to the records. Uh, his mother, finally, and some of the other brothers and sisters, after they had come to maturity, took him to court over it. And you can just, when you read the old records, you can just realize the agony that that mother went through trying to raise all those children and had a son who was really doing away with all of the family finances. He was not really able to handle the financial situation that they had put him in. We wouldn't do that to a child of 21 years age, of age now. But the women back then had no say, you know, and so it was a very difficult time for her. Um, I'm going to open up the house and let you tour the house, and uh, uh, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to try to answer them. Uh, I love the old house. I would love.
That lady right there is, is uh, Miss Rose from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, talking to Dick. Get back up on the porch here. That's Mr. Lee Trotter and his wife, and that's his daughter Mary, black hair up leaning against the pole. There's my brother Bugs. There's Will Trotter, Oakley Trotter with the hat on, Greg Trotter. That's Anna Pet. That's Lauren Trotter. That's my sister Faye Grimmion, Faye Trotter Grimmion. That's my mama, Rita Trotter. The glasses right there. We're in Quitman, Mississippi. It is January the 30th, 1993. We're visiting the home of William Trotter that was built in the uh, 18, they think around 1846. Records show about 1854, 56, something like that, but they think it was actually built earlier than that. And uh, we're over here visiting the house is up for sale. And uh, under the doorway, the old house. Coming in the side entrance, when you're facing the house, it be to your left, like a, walking into a foyer. Is that the original furniture right here? Or is that I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. That's been built in. Uh, that's a couple of armoires that don't match, and they've been just uh, built in there. 
this room uh, was the original dining room, I believe, and uh, it's been used by people that have occupied it since then as a bedroom. Uh, all of the molding, nearly all of the molding has been sanded and the molding that goes around the windows and so forth is in a closet in the front room. Most of the windows are the old windows. Uh, this it, uh, has been used by uh, owners uh, as the dining room. Uh, since it was built. This house, this part from here back is not available for the house. It seems like to me this runs This one like does. This that was added on is in much worse condition uh, structurally than the original house. Can't you tell uh, the kind of mm -hmm. And I do not know why the man that owns the house now, why he didn't jack this up in this corner. Uh, this is in 1940. Yeah. Like this doorway. Bye. I, I, I've not been able to find a picture, right but I just in my own heart feel like it was probably full of that. Okay, now this is the kitchen. Now they call it all the cabinets. See, this room here is not loved. You can see this is out. And you tell it, you look at it. I look at that case and that, that room goes like this. Well, then maybe it was a porch. No, yeah, they, they, they had a different one. Do you think it may be a porch? But you see, one, like she said, that's part of the first one. I can feel it. I can feel it. Like I said, they built things by convenience, and these are really nice cabinets. They all go loud, and this has places for trays of here. This is my kind of kitchen. Well, it was hers too. In other words, really, this kitchen is not in keeping with the uh, original house. Uh, oh, it's too, too modern. Uh, 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 this is where the stove goes. Now, the wiring is all in and ready to be hooked up. Uh, the sink goes here, the dishwasher here, the refrigerator there, the little desk area. And then you can have an aisle on our kitchen table here. And then this is the laundry room all over here. This right here is the uh, utility room. They've upgraded it to a water heater in it. Piping, the whole work. Kitchen has been upgraded. You hear that bucket? She said spent thirty thousand painting the outside of the house. Well, to get it ready to paint, I don't. You know, uh -uh. How long did it been since it been painted? It about well, it's been paint over paint, you know, and it really needs painting right now. Uh, Who is it? Now he sanded it and took it. Down. It looked like it had a good wash. It like we washed it last fall and uh, washed it down, and it needs washing again. And this, and if you're in the south, you probably have to do the same thing. But we have to wash it down. That's uh, Mary Lee. And that's Miss Rose. Blue. Barbara, Omar, Will, Oak, Red, Bud, Lanny, Andy, you got ham. Hey, boy. That's one thing about these old houses now. Omar, Oak, if you gave me the house, I would have been like, I don't know why you got this door open. Going up the steps now. Back the house. There it is now. That looks like a regular, original one there, doesn't it? Upstairs bedroom. Fireplace. 
rooms aren't very big, about 20 to 20. Closet. If you're looking out the front of it, out of the front bedroom, as you're facing the house, it'd be the bedroom to the right. This upstairs balcony, I'm looking out the window. I'm standing up there looking down. I don't know if the sitting in the car. Andy! Three gun, four gun. I'm just looking from upstairs. I'm up on the balcony upstairs. Balcony upstairs. Looking off the balcony downstairs. I did most impressive thing here. That's probably most impressive. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, okay. Okay. Next crop. Next crop. That's Laura. That's Mr. Lee's daughter. He's 80 years old. Bedroom. Left side of the house, when you're facing the house, is the upstairs left bedroom. High ceilings in these rooms. Fireplace. Yeah. 